Quit India campaign that has been launched by the BJP and they are uh, staging this demonstration at the Gandhi statue in the parliament premises, raising slogans and holding those banners saying that appeasement, nepotism, dynasty and corruption should quit India. This as India is celebrating the 83rd anniversary, 81st, I beg your pardon, anniversary of the Quit India movement that was launched in the year uh, 1942, uh, by, led by Mahatma Gandhi. My colleagues, Sunil Sunil Prabhu and Megha Prasad joining us for more on this. And Sunil, let me come uh, first to you. As the BJP is launching this attack against the Congress party, we are getting reactions from the Congress as well. They are saying that the BJP, uh, the ancestors of the BJP, weren't even a part of the Quit India movement when it was launched in 1942. And now they are staging this. That's right, uh, Priyanshi. In fact, that's what I was uh, saying at uh, the you know, top of the hour. Uh, that uh, this is uh, a big question that was reflected on the floor of the house. Uh, no less than Sashi Tharoor today uh, tweeting about it, saying where were your ideolo ideological uh, forebearers 81 years ago? They were actually supporting the British at that time. Uh, and of course, now uh, the prime minister giving the lead. So uh, the uh, BJP uh, making course correction 81 years later to talk about uh, quit from appeasement politics, quit from corruption, it, uh, following the prime minister's line. Uh, but uh, definitely a lot of questions. And as I said uh, this morning, um, uh, when the uh, no conference motion is taken up once again on the floor of the House at noon, uh, Rahul Gandhi uh, to take the lead to speak uh, on behalf of his party and set uh, the real tone and agenda uh, for what they would like the Prime Minister to respond and to be, uh, you know, held accountable on the floor of the House. Uh, this, as we have been saying, uh, is a tool that they've used uh, to get the Prime Minister to come to Parliament to speak in Parliament, to speak in the Lok Sabha mm. and answer their questions after he refused to do so.